Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. How y'all doing tonight again? All right. With number two. Come on, get on here, press tag and share. Because um, like I said, I I just I'm so full. I've been oh, I've still been fasting, you guys. So y'all already know that, right? Oh, and we're getting ready to do another 21 day fast. Y'all know it was coming, right? Because I mean, I'm telling you, it's not just in my life. There are things that's being broken. God is doing, God is shifting, not just in my life. I'm talking about in a whole remnant, the whole remnant, the whole remnant. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So if your life is shifting right now, it's supposed to shift because God is getting ready to set, God setting you up. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. All what you've been through, it was a setup. All what you went through, it was a setup. All what they did, it was a setup. All what you lost, it was a setup. Honey, God set you up, hallelujah to his name. So let me get on this subject. So what God was talking about, I said, Dan, I want you to talk to, to talk to them. He wrote four things. So this is the second thing. Sexual soul ties. Stopping your anointing. Sexual soul ties. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to go slow with this one because I really wanted to penetrate. So go ahead and tag and share. Let me tell y'all something. Everybody want to be loved. Everybody want a husband. Everybody want a wife. If you don't, then you, you need to ask God what's wrong with you. I'm just going to be honest, but you need to ask God what's wrong with you because you're hurting. Somebody hurt you. Something happened because that's just not normal because the Bible, God can't go against his word. And the Bible said it's not good for men to be alone. Hallelujah. So let's be real. However, he says, I need you to do it my way. But what happens is, especially with women, we get emotional. With women, we get lonely. I, I'm almost 50, right? And no, I'm not married. So the, don't think the devil didn't try to play with me. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Well, you know you're getting up there. I said, fool, get out my ear. Uh-uh-uh. How, how about other people? You know you need a covering. I got a covering. I got the Lord thy God. And when he sent a man, when he sent a man, then I'm going to be good. I don't need you, pastor. I don't need you, bishop. I don't need you, apostle, trying to put me up with nobody. They almost did it. I don't know how many times, but thank you, Jesus. God stopped it every time because I allowed him to. I could have went on with it. I could have went with what I want. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. And I'm going to be honest with you. There are times I came close. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm, because I'm flesh too. And, and I just said it. We all want to be loved. But at the end of that thing, I went to God. I said, God, what do you say? Because at the end, it doesn't matter what I feel, what I think I want. I want what God wants. Because guess what? He see what I don't see and he know what I don't know. And I don't want to be a fool. Because if I'm going to be a fool, I'm going to be a fool for God. I'm not being a fool for a man, for, for, for no sex, for no pleasure. Come on, somebody, don't play with me. Make it rain up in here with them things. Things that I'm talking about, hallelujah, sexual soul ties. So let me tell y'all what happens. It's not just being having sex with them. You're, you're intertwining spirits. So if they're not really saved, now you taint it. Now you start thinking weird. And once you go there, oh, I'm going there. This is for the grown folks tonight. Once you have sex with them, that's a wrap. Your emotions are all caught up. That's a wrap. That's a wrap because guess what? Number one, you're going to want to have sex again. Number two, those spirits is working in you now. Because, and, and I'm going here tonight. So tag, share, and I, I don't want to hear all that apostle. No, baby. This real teaching. This real preaching. Once you have sex and the man ejaculates in you, that's just not an orgasm. That's spirits. And if that man is not saved or if that man is a warlock, or that man's has, um, thank you, Lord. Come on, bring, bring it to me. Bring it to me. Have a sexual addiction. You in trouble. You in trouble for two things. You may not act like he act, but guess what? Now you got to watch him be with other women. Oh, come on, somebody. This ain't for the faint at heart. This ain't for y'all little rooty pooty. Oh, come on, somebody. This is some real talk here tonight. Now you got to go through the jealousy stuff. Now you got to go through watching them because you can't trust them. All this other stuff because you didn't wait on God. All this stuff because you got a little hot. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. All because you got a little horny. But let's be real. Let's be real. And hold on. I get it. I get it because truth be told, we all want to be loved. I'm going to keep saying that throughout the video because it's the truth. God can't go. That's why he made uh, more men. He said, he looked at Adam. He said, that man going to go crazy. I'm just paraphrasing it. He said, I, I need to give him. Some. So everybody knows that. But at the same point, I'm going to go ahead and I have to be very transparent because y'all need this. I asked the Lord. Don't think I didn't. I said, God, what's up? I want to be loved. I want to be touched. I want, I, when I saw War Room, I said, I want him to rub my feet out and feed me ice cream. I said, what's the problem, God? I mean, I'm serious. I'm just being real with y'all. God said, Deanna, you are first an apostle. 
Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all its righteousness. You belong to me first before anybody or anyone. And I'm not going to just let you get with anybody. Now hold on. And then the enemy will try to come and try to put, well, you're lonely or, or, or they don't want you. So I went through a period of nobody wanting me. I thought because I was big, I'm going to be honest with you. I said, but I think I'm cute. And I'm just, I'm just talking because y'all need to hear that. I'm just talking. And God told me something. And, and I think I put it in a video. God said, Dan, it's not that you're not beautiful and, and you're not a person doesn't want you. He said, but I'm blinded them. He said, they can't see because I, I only the right one can see who you truly are. Because anybody else, they would taint your anointing. And I cannot have it because I put some powerful stuff in you. And the stuff I put in you is not even for you. It's for my people. So I can't let you and your flesh mess that up. Hallelujah to his name. Don't y'all hear what I said? So it ain't even about what I want. Hallelujah. I'm just talking. Because y'all need to hear that. Because I'm tired of my sisters and I'm tired of my brothers. So, so many of y'all, hallelujah, I, I want to almost cry. Man, y'all giving up. Oh, oh I'm serious. I got I to gotta, I gotta pull back. Y'all allowing your anointing to be tainted. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I promise you. In 2012, I did it. I, 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 I'm, I'm transparent on purpose. I married the wrong person. I don't hate that man. God bless him. But I married him. And I ain't going to lie to y'all. I heard God say no. But I'm going to be honest with you. I say, God, I ain't trying to be funny. I said, but I'm tired of sleeping alone. I say, and I'll be honest with you, I want a man to touch me. And it's been years. I'm just being real. And God said, go ahead. He, he, he was so cool about it. He said, go ahead. You guys, and I get a little emotional. I, oh, Lord. I stop hearing God. I stop hearing God. I will never do that again. I stop hearing God. I didn't feel God. I can't tell y'all what that was like. That was worse than being on drugs. That was worse than being an alcoholic. Like I was. I stopped hearing God. I hated myself. And then I almost, I think I hated him. And you, So y'all already know that one gonna work. I blamed him, but then I had to come back. That was my fault. I was disobedient when I heard God say, no. And I lost a lot. I lost a lot. I, I, I can't even tell y'all everything I lost. And I'm very serious. Because people don't think God rolled like this. Yes, he do. I'm going to go here. I want to get it all out. I want to be like Miles Moron said, get it all out before I die. I'm going to tell y'all. Whether you believe it or not, I really don't even care. God had promised me a son, Alexander Panayo. That's right. That was, that was going to be his name, Alexander Panayo. When I married that guy, what I didn't know is that he must have something wrong down there. I'm just going to be real with you. Now, this is going to sound real crazy, but it's the truth. I had cervical cancer, so I had to have a total hysterectomy. So y'all think, okay, well, that's just, you know, whatever, whatever. No, it wasn't. Because when we got divorced, God said, I want you to look into his history. And I should have did that before I married him, right? Can you believe the girl from before me had a total hysterectomy and had cervical cancer? The girl before her had cervical cancer and a total hysterectomy. The girl before, you get my drift? I cried like a baby. I said, you tried to stop me. He said, yeah. He said, now you'll never have a son. He said, but every baby that see you, they'll smile and they'll know. You. I'm not kidding. Strangers' babies be wanting to come to me. I promise you, my cousin could vouch for it right here. I went to the game and I mean, that little baby wanted to come with me. It was so crazy, but I'll never have my own. Y'all is not ready for me tonight because I'm telling the truth. If I could go back to 2012, oh, hallelujah, if I could go back, y'all. But that's okay. I can't go back. But I can go forward. And what I will not do is I will never give nobody that much power. I will never, I will never trade God for a man. I will never trade the anointing that God has entrusted me with. The gifts, the talents, the everything for what I think I want. For a pleasure, for a moment, for a season. And then it get ripped apart because that's what happens. If it's not ordained, it get ripped apart. Please, 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 this, this, I'm talking to you as a sister in Christ. Not even as an apostle, just a sister. Just, just a sister. Just talking to a brother. Sister talk, talking to a sister. Please don't do it. Whatever you got to do. Well, how do I stop it? Fasting, praying, and run like Joseph. Because you're going to see some fine ones. Oh, come on, somebody. And your flesh going to be like, well, hmm, let's be honest with human. You got to fight. 
you gotta fight for your you gotta fight for your anointing. You gotta fight for your anointing. Hallelujah to his name. And you gotta fight to keep it. You gotta guard this gift that God is giving you. Hallelujah. Because I promise you, the devil is after it. Because he knows once you get tainted, that's a process. You're going down. You're gonna come back up because you're the Lord's. Hallelujah. But then let's be real. Sometimes you don't. How many famous people have went too far and they can't come back? Now hold on. Hold on. That doesn't mean that God have just thrown them away. But they'll never have that heaven on in again. I was lucky that I didn't go too far. Because when I saw what I had did, trust me, it was over like maybe in nine months. I said, I, I, I repented. I said, uh, 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 he tried to beg us to stay. I said, if I, and, and honestly, I had a hard time because I fell in love then. And I never forget, God said, Deanna, if you don't stop this now, you'll never be who I need you to be and who I want you to be. And that one right there hit me hard. I said, oh, no, I can't just be, uh-uh. No, you don't ever trade who you are and what God have called you to be for a man, for money, for fame, for anything. Because I promise you, it's an unfair trade. And if you don't believe me, keep living. It's an unfair trade. So sexual soul ties, how do you do it? Now, this is not a formula for, for just came out the sky. I'm telling you what God said. This is the formula. I, I got me some virgin olive oil. It cleanses because everything's a spirit. We're talking about sexual, right? Sexual immortality, right? Immorality, I'm sorry. So what happens is the anointing oil, pure pure olive oil. Don't be trying the anointing oil that have frankincense and mirth and stuff. I did that. That'll burn. You don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> so I used the, the normal one. I did it three times, three days. Because the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And I fasted those three days. God says that the deposits, everything that's in you, all them spirits, all that nastiness, it starts coming out of you. I'm telling you what God says. And, and it purifies you. And you got to ask God, God, cleanse me. God, cleanse me. God, cleanse me. God, please. He'll do it. He'll do it. It's a process. But guess what? You got to stop talking to him. You got to cut it off. You got to stop having sex with him. Because that, that's the that's the most powerful thing right there. Stop having sex with him. Now, that's the most powerful thing to do. But now it's a process because guess what? They'll start almost begging you to come back. That man got on his knees and begged me. Hold on, I want to buy me a bigger ring and a big... And I said, oh no, <laughs> I already lost too much. Because I wanted a little boy. I, that's, that's all I wanted my whole life. And to give it up because of what I wanted. When I think about what I did, that was crazy. But that's all right. And then you have to forgive yourself too. Because the enemy... I promise you, the enemy will try to make you, that's a tormenting spirit. God don't do that. God don't say, nan, nan, boo, boo. God don't do that. But the tormenting spirit does. It, it lets you know that you messed up and it try to tell you that God won't use you and you're nobody that's a lie before God. God used broken people. I'm, I was broken. Oh, I was broken. And hold on, truth be told, if, especially if you're an apostle and prophet, we're always getting broken. God will break us, fill us up. Wreck us, fill us up. Wreck us. It'd be like, God, really? He's God, though, right? So I pray that you really take it serious. Take your anointing serious. Take your calling serious. That's why the church don't have no power. Y'all letting the lust, yeah, they fine. I know, and the sex good, huh? I know, I know I've been there. But is it worth it? Is it worth it after it? Because I don't know about you. It wasn't worth it. It was not worth it. What I had to deal with after Oh, honey, please. Now, I won't make that same mistake. Come close sometimes. Because guess what? Again, we're human. We want to be loved. Like I say, if you don't want no husband or no wife, you need to ask God to help you because either you're hurt, somebody didn't did something to you, or you don't have unforgiveness because God cannot go against his word. I'm reiterating stuff on purpose so y'all can hear it again. Because when you hear it twice, something happens. God says, it is not good for man to dwell alone. So don't even try that. And everybody's not the same. Wait on your husband. Let me tell you something, how real this is. I got to tell y'all this story. So you know how you see older people and they look alike? Let me tell you what I did one day. I saw this old couple and I said, God, I said, why they look alike? God said, because they was ordained. And I said, God, what do you mean? And this, this, if you get this revelation, it's going to blow your mind. God says that when we were born, especially husband and wives, right? Here's what happened. Spirits are big. That's why angels are big and all that. Flat, th that's why you can get big and get small. Why do you think you can get big and small? Y'all ever thought about that? Y'all call it just losing weight. No, your spirit can grow. 
Come on, somebody, because your spirit is big. That's why your flesh grows. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God says that he split the, that spirit in half. Listen to me. And this one, the man goes his way in life. Then the wife goes her way in life. But at our appointed time, he says, they see each other and they become whole. That's why he says, when they're joined together, they become one. He says, now that's why the enemy hates marriage. Because when you are whole spirit, especially when you're married, you're powerful. You don't hear what I'm saying. And that's why they start looking alike, especially if they're ordained. That's why, and you can always tell because you're not going to argue a whole lot. You're going to respect each other. The love's going to be there. Nobody can come between you. I don't care how fine they are or whoever. We have to come back to respecting marriages, but ordained marriages. Because to be honest with y'all, and some of y'all are going to get mad because this is confirmation. You know who you married to is not your ordained mate. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Either they fine, it's a business thing. And how you know? Because you go in and out of love. Some days you love them, some days you look at them like, don't play with me. You know it's the truth. Hallelujah to his name. Don't y'all see? It's time to want the real thing again. Not just what the church put y'all together as. Not what y'all put y'all stuff like a partnership. You have a good credit score. I have a good credit score. You have a good job. I have a good job. The devil is a lie. Because God can send anybody to you. But what's in your mind? Have you renewed your mind? Or are you thinking like the world? Because the world, that's why they, they marriage is not working. Y'all got to come back to God. Everything is God at the end. I don't care what nobody say. Everything is God at the end. And let me tell you something about that sexual sin in marriage. When you step out and you do stuff, that's the same thing. Now, you're wondering why you don't want your wife no more because you didn't win God with Sally Mae. And Sally Mae got some heavy spirit. Sally Mae might be a witch. And you all in love, but it's a spell. Y'all don't notice they use the word love spell. And y'all wear that perfume and that spray. Y'all don't know what's happening here. This is all spiritual, man. Y'all better catch it. The, de the devil destroying marriages, destroying people, destroying you. Because y'all not catching it. Y'all not looking for the signs. And all you got to do is just watch. Watch God. God said, I'm going to tell you what time it is. I'm going to tell you by my spirit. But here's the deal. Are you going to be obedient? Are you going to listen? Sexual sins. That's what's taking down the church. And if y'all don't believe me, I'm not going to tell no names. Look what happened. Look, look how many great men and women of God we lost because of sexual sin. Don't play with me. Y'all know it's the truth. That's the sin. That's the greatest one of all. It's not that they don't love God. Come on now. They do. That lust. That desire. That flesh. Hallelujah. It'll take you under. It'll take you under. You can't fight flesh alone. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That's how you beat sexual sin. So I told y'all. I took some olive oil. Pure olive oil. I, oh, I wish I had it, but I got this bottle. I'm going to show y'all what I did. I took some olive oil. I say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, please take this out of its natural use. Put supernatural healing power, Father God, anointed, please, Father God, so that I could be cleansed and be purified. And I drunk three sips. In the name of Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And after that, I drunk with some water because that was, that was nasty. I said, God, cleanse me. God, purify me. Please, God. And I fast for three days. Because that stuff have to come out. It has to come out of you. Because if not, I promise you, you're going to be thinking about that person. You're going to be wanting to call them again. You're going to be wanting to hook up again. You have to stay pure. I didn't say perfect. I say pure through Jesus Christ. That's the only way you can do, beat the sexual sin. Even through here. Most of you, y'all get on. Just don't get upset. Most of those famous guys y'all follow, and y'all know y'all know they're not, not really anointed. Y'all can feel it. They talk good. They got everybody got the gift of gab shoes. I used to be a salesperson too, and that's for real. But few has the anointing. Some of y'all sitting up there lusting over those men. Don't make me start calling names. Y'all know it's true because they fine. Y'all just be looking. <laughs> he's he's so anointed. That man ain't big more anointed than the man in the moon. He just fine, and you on Facebook lusting. Yeah, I say that. Mm -hmm. Women too. And they do it on purpose. You know, they make sure they dress sharp. Y'all don't know this God put me back in the white? Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. He put me back in the white, y'all. So I was like, ooh, I got beside myself. Oh, he, he, Big G be telling the truth. I call him Big G. So that's all he told me to say on this video. So I pray that y'all understand.
God, I pray for y'all. I pray, pray for me too. Wait, all of the ones that have a prayer life. Don't pray for me if you don't have a prayer life. But this is real stuff. This is real because it's taking out people. Nothing, try to take me out recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not even going to tell y'all what happened. But um, I, had, I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, yes. I, I'm transparent on purpose. Yes, I want to be with somebody. Yes, I want to. But I ain't. I can't do it. I can't. I, I can't. God's been too good to me. And hasn't he been to you? I'm not turning my back on God for what I think I want. If you got to go outside the will of God to get it, it ain't for you. Hallelujah to his name. It ain't for you. All right. God bless you. This is a pastor. And I'm only telling y'all because I love y'all. You know, that's another thing. We don't have love, love in the body of Christ. We got to tell each other the truth, even when it hurts. That's what's going to save us. Hallelujah to his name. So, you know, I'm going to say a prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, everybody that's on here, Father God. Father God, I know that I am nothing but through you, Father God, through your spirit, Father God. I ask you right now, and I release an anointing, Father God, for everybody that's on here, Father God, everybody that's going through sexual sin, sexual immorality, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus, you sever that thing to the root of that thing in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father God, Holy Ghost fire, burn it up, Father God, cleanse them, purify them, Father God, change them, Father God, release them, Father God, please, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, not just for your glory, Father Father God, but let them be the men and women that you've called them to be. Oh, Father God, I thank you, Lord. Loose him, devil. Loose her, devil, in the name of Jesus, for they are not yours in the name of Jesus. Oh, I plead the blood of Jesus over everybody on here. Everybody that's going through sexual immorality, even in a marriage that's not ordained by God. God, give them the strength. Give them the strength, Father God, to leave and receive from you, God, in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you, Lord. We give you honor and we give you praise in Jesus' name again. Hallelujah. That thing's done. That thing's broke. That thing broke. That thing broke in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to his name. I sever it. I sever it. I sever it. Hallelujah. 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 May the spirit of God, may the power of God, may the fire of God burn it all up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Only believe, said the Lord. Only believe. Hallelujah. Woo! So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers, for that is who you are. Ah.